Welcome everyone to today on STV. Now to a lighter side of the show this morning and we're talking uh, a publisher who is Nigerian, lives in the UK and deems it fit to promote and uh, just bring to the fore all our entertainment activities here in Nigeria. Also, uh, how Nigerians are doing great things in the UK with entertainment. As you know, at the moment, no one can ignore Nigeria with entertainment. He is Olushe Yogulano, the publisher for Fiesta magazine with us on the show this morning. How are you? Well, thank you. So, um, Fiesta magazine is a magazine that's not even, uh, is in circulation in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Yes. Let's talk about capturing uh, the crowd, okay. the non-Nigerian crowd. Yeah. What kind of crowd do you, do you capture when it comes to Fiesta magazine? Who's interested in Nigerian entertainment outside Nigeria? As a matter of fact, everyone is interested in the Nigerian entertainment industry because so many things are happening, great things. Um, Entertainment is like a universal culture. Everybody's interested, and sometimes you're bored by your own culture or your music, for example. You want to venture into appreciating other people's music, fashion, entertainment. And I think Nigeria is not doing badly in that regard because, uh, of course, you know that we have the latest trend of music collaborations from all over. So more non-Nigerians all over the world are interested in what is going on, especially when they know that uh, top artists, for example, in the music industry internationally have gained global recognition, are uh, pairing up with Nigerians to do great music, for example. We've got fashion shows all over. We've got Nigerians doing fantastic uh, things in the entertainment industry. So that naturally interests an average non-Nigerian all over the world to want to look a bit further to find out what exactly we've got to offer. So it just comes naturally. Okay, now let's talk about, let's compare that to our image now. Um, people are interested in our uh, entertainment, yeah. but how about the image of the Nigerian outside? Uh, let's talk about the issue of the visa bond. Let's talk about the issue, issue of the boy who has been tagged Nigerian, even though he's only Nigerian by name who killed um, an official, a security agent uh, in the UK. Let's talk about our image. How much bashing has our image received? Well, to be very honest with you, uh, I wouldn't say it's commendable at all. Our image is very far from being, uh, you know, commendable in the international, um, you know, community because of some of these mishaps going on. Um, with reference to the 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 uh, the UK born guy who has a Nigerian mm -hmm. name mm -hmm. of Nigerian parents who has been tagged as a Nigerian for that reason uh, of course what he did is like insane you know it's like it's inhumane you can just slaughter someone for mus uh, for religious um, you know inclinations and all of that however you would want to understand that it's a negative thing. So nobody likes to attach themselves to negative. So they put it on Nigeria. On Nigeria, because of course they could easily say, oh, it's from Nigerian parents. If we didn't allow his parents in our country, we wouldn't have had him in Nigeria. Of course, his parents, I'm sure people around the UK are not happy about that because there is no way that would affect the image and the acceptance of Nigerians uh, okay. internationally. It's, it's very evident. I do a lot of traveling in and out of Nigeria. And I know when you say, oh, a Nigerian passport, there's a way, you know, they, they, they look you at you. You got to love us more. How about but, our UK bond mm -hmm, issue? Mm -hmm. 3,000 pounds in the month okay. of November. Well, the UK bond issue, I don't know, it's still on the debate. I don't know if it's been finalized. But what I know is that um, it's not really affecting Nigeria alone. But of course, Nigeria is has been mentioned. They mentioned high risk country. country. I don't think that's just to curtail excesses of Nigerians just having. Do we even have to be on that list? Well, when you say it does not affect Nigerians alone, it makes it seem nicer. But do we even have to be among those people? As one of the greatest nations in Africa, and we have haven't, to be here. haven't been no 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 exactly, and haven't been colonized by the British. I don't mm. think it's it, it's it's an embarrassment to be honest, but. I don't know for what reason they had, but I don't think it's fair. Personally, I don't think I like it. I don't think I okay. like it. Well, like, Shay, let's talk about the Fiesta magazine and uh, the acceptance, really. Your 
aim, your target is to say, Nigerians are doing things in the UK, for instance, let's get it covered. Okay. It's happening in Nigeria, let's get it covered and export to the UK. Like we said earlier, no one can ignore Nigeria with entertainment, music and all of that. Some DJs come from the UK and said, the white guys, dance to Nigerian tunes almost all night through. To be honest, yeah. And you're wondering, he doesn't hear a word of Yoruba, for instance, which uh, some of our artists would like to infuse into their songs, but hey, it's catchy, it's danceable, and it's fun. Coming back to, like you said, on one hand is our image we have to clean up and deal with. On the other, we have got something the world cannot ignore. How exactly. have you been able to strike this balance and at the end of the day have a magazine that is doing well in the UK? Thank you very much. For example, our Fiesta magazine, he said, like you rightly said, um, to have an exchange, you know, input and export entertainment activities, fashion events, lifestyle, within and outside of, uh, for Nigerians, how Nigerians are faring internationally in over 10 countries at the moment and others. I would say that the non-Nigerians abroad are interested in Nigerian music, for example. When Fiesta Magazine was launched, this, this current issue, was uh, unveiled. We unveiled with a concert, and we invited people from all over, from all the cultures, to uh, fashion shows and all of that. There was a there was a white girl who actually sang a song by Wanda Co. Really? She's on YouTube. She came live and did a song. She, uh, apparently, she didn't understand any word, any Yoruba word, and all of that. But it, it was really, really emotional to find out that people outside Nigeria, non-Nigerians, whites, even Asians, appreciate. Of course, you see them at the clubs, you see them just playing in their cars and all of that, Jamaicans doing it and everything. You know, it's fantastic. It's really, really, really encouraging. So Fiesta Magazine is just there to say, okay, you have an event, you have this to do, we have um, fashion shows going on in, in the UK, other parts of the world. We bring it home. We've got stuff coming happening home. We want Nigerians to know you're not lost of all activities going on in Nigeria. We can pull everything together in form of a magazine, the comfort of your home anyway, just flip through the pages, you get exactly what is happening in Nigeria. Just an exchange, you know, for everybody to just enjoy everything going on at home and abroad. Okay, and um, let me ask another one. Now, um, the Nothing Hill Carnival, I just, how was the Nigerian corner? Unfortunately, I was in Nigeria when it came up. But did you hear anything? Yeah, yeah, of course. It was really, really fantastic. It was colorful as usual. And, and your magazine covered? Yeah, yeah, I had somebody on standby to do that for me. Mm. Uh, I got the pictures and I was really thrilled by it. Just last year, I was in the last year edition, there was a pregnant woman that will probably deliver tomorrow in a bikini on the streets of Notting Hill doing her thing. You know, I just, ah, this would not happen in Nigeria, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. But it was really, really colorful. We've got Nigerian stand, a couple of Nigerians, uh, Nigerian entertainers, you know, flew in from Nigeria to, you know, be a part of that celebration. I think it was really, really colorful. Right. I want to thank you for dropping by this morning. We've really had an interesting chat. We know that uh, Nigerian entertainment is growing well. and uh, is being respected by people world over. Exactly. Thank you, Luce Yogulano, publisher of Fiesta Magazine, for dropping by this morning. Thank you very much. And a quick one to uh, uh, someone who is a mother or like a mother to uh, one of us here, Adesua. It's her birthday today, Mrs. Dr. Mrs. Charity Irobe. Adesua says, happy birthday to you uh, on this great day uh, as it is for you. And also, Dabeli Chuku Orizu's wedding is tomorrow. We support you. Our hearts go out to you in love and we wish you the very best Congratulations. tomorrow. Congratulations. And this is where we drop the anchor for the week. Thank you for... You know, sticking with us through the week, you've watched the show, you've, uh, the interviews you have contributed, for those of you who contributed, uh, thank you so much. We'll see you again on Monday morning.